Hello and welcome to this third part in this video tutorial. My name is Samuel Vidal and today I will continue um, making this awesome character here, Blaze Fielding from Steel Rich 4. And last time on the second part I was just simply adjusting some textures here, you know, on her costume and her hair and everything. So today I'm going to continue by um, editing this um, jacket here, a punk leather jacket, and <clears throat> the plan is to cut the sleeves here and kind of extrude it here and make it look like she have the this sleeve here rolled up. That's that's all it is. Like on the um you can see here on the f on the photo reference see <clears throat> so before i um jump to the to start um, editing the jacket there was something i forgot to do and it was on the skirt here and that's something that i can do real quick and <laughs> You see, I always forget something on on the previous from the previous video. I was supposed to do it there, and it was to do the um, black stripe here. See, as in the photo referencing. So that could be done real quick. Um, just press tab here to go edit mode and. What I'm going to do is, in this case, I'm going to select this edge loop here. Remember, um, Shift-Alt, right-click, to select that. Then I can press um, key letter W and select this option here, Bevel Edges, and then kind of drag it here, see? And while I'm dragging, I'm scrolling the mouse, I can add in between those loops another loop. Depending on how much you scroll, the more you keep adding, see? So I'm just only going to add one more loop in the middle there. And let's see if I can control this. Just simply... I think there and right click there okay now <clears throat> i'm going to select everything with a and then i'm going to zoom in and i i want to select that middle loop there okay and i will scale in Let's see if i can scale in a little bit Without, um, without, you know, um, colliding with, uh, with her skin, you know, oh my God, this is, this is horrible. <clears throat> okay. It's not really that noticeable unless, because I had, I had, um, I have added to the skirt. Um, remember, on the last video, I added a subdivision surface. So right now, it's not noticeable because still these edges they kind of smooth out. But if I want to sharp these edges here, all I would need to do is let me see if I can get this at here another loop by. Um, let me see what's a control R. Control R, yes, control R. And then there, I will add that loop there to sharp that edge there, see? I don't want that close. Oh my God. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. See, now you can see that line there. And, <clears throat> I can do the same thing for the bottom one here, this edge here. Add another loop there to sharp that edge there. Control R. 
and there. Okay, see now you see that line there because it's that edge. All those edges are sharp now. See. <clears throat> So let me see. I'm gonna go to fill, um, face select and let's just select here. Oops. Okay. And then select all these um, faces here. Shift Alt and right click. Shift Alt and right click. See. Actually, um, <clears throat> if I press H to hide this, those uh, faces that I selected, then now I just simply click here and Control L to select everything, and then bring back everything that I hidden with Alt H. Okay, that'll be the quickest way to do that. Okay, I'm gonna go here on the right panel here for the material properties <coughs> excuse me and we're gonna add a material slot here and instead of making a new one we're just gonna look here on the list and actually I'm gonna type here S L and exactly I'm gonna um, select this one the same one okay now because i want to do another instance of this one all i have to do is select new material here see and now i'm just gonna go here on this property here the, the um shader editor here <coughs> i'm sorry i'm not feeling good today <laughs> Um, on this knot here, the the diffuse image texture here that goes on the base color. Okay, let me put this down. I'm going to add. I'm gonna go here under color and a hue saturation. Okay, I'm just gonna add it there. Okay, and I'm going to desaturate it. And this value, I'm going to put it around 0 0.05, okay? And we still don't see any changes because now what we need to do is come here and assign it to this selected faces here, okay? And there it is, okay? And we'll save it. Now... I just do a render preview and that's that see that's that this are like a line here see I don't know why is that is happening <laughs> um, we'll have to check that real quick so there's a line there. It's, I don't know if I have. Well, I think for me to fix that, <coughs> I will have to add another loop here to retract that line from coming out here. Let me see if that will fix that, okay? Control L. And, uh oh, well, I'll leave it there. Let me see. Nope, it didn't fix it. Okay, there's, there's something here I didn't do right. Let me go back again, undo. Okay, for me to see what I'm doing, I'm just gonna go back to this property and We'll say this one. Okay, here. Let me see what I'm doing. Because there's, there's something weird going on here. Okay. If I... 
Oh, okay. I know what what's going on, okay? Is because this here, see, if I expand this, see, that that space in between that loop that I added here and this phase, I didn't select it and and change it to the to the the second <clears throat> texture that I did here. See, so all I gotta do is Shift Alt and select that, and then see. And now, I'm just gonna put this face back again where it was. See, now that line is gone. Control S, and there we have it, see? That's a way you can fix that, okay? And, just gonna go back again and hit this option so we can see because you see here it doesn't look smooth because I uncheck this option okay and there we have it, okay now I'm gonna start with the jacket but I only gonna do one side because it's gonna take quite a while for me to do this and you know I, again I don't I don't like to do really long very um long videos doing the same thing, you know, cuz then it gets kind of boring. So only this side and then I will cut and then you know resume with everything already set, okay? So select here the jacket. I have already adjusted the textures. I did that already. Because it was the same process as I did in the second video here, so you know. And I'm gonna um, press tab and select this option here. See, first of all, I want to fix this. Okay, so you already know how to fix it. Select, select the proportional editing tool. You select the option there. Um, press G. And start moving a little bit. See? And there uh, we'll fix that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now. First thing I want to do is. Let me put it in, in this option here. The viewport shading. So you can, you can appreciate more what I'm trying to do. I want to start cutting this sleeve pretty much from here, like actually from here. Okay. So I go to face select mode and press here and shift alt. But if you notice, it's not going to select the entire loop because we got triangulated faces here, see? So, the only thing I can do is press shift and select those manually. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Now, with that selected, Okay, the next thing I will be doing is press H to hide that loop. Okay, now it's different. Now I'm not deleting, I'm gonna press H to hide it. Okay, there. And now I'm going to select one of these faces, Control L to select everything, and over here, this little zipper here. I'm going to select B, okay, and I want to do a correction here. I know in the last vid video I said that this was the circle select, but this is not the circle select. Actually, this is the lasso select, okay, there and then control L and delete that, okay. The 
the circle select is the one when you press the letter C see this is the circle select now when you do like this you select see that's the circle select so now now that that's done I'm going to press alt H to bring that loop back there see and before I start extruding you know I want to fix this edge here see like there's some areas here that I want to I want to fix make it a little bit even see and you know depending how much you scroll the mouse you can adjust the circle to influence the other vertices okay if I were to put this very small see it doesn't influence the other one but then when I um, enlarge the, the circle see and that is pretty cool okay just again okay, adjust this All right. so that's good I guess and we just need to scale it a little bit Oops, it's touching here. Let me just fix that. See, okay. That looks good. Okay, now I'm going to press the or to the viewport shading to bring back the you know textures here and. I'm going to select this edge loop here, okay, and I'm going to deselect the proportional edi editing tool, okay. And now I'm gonna go and press E to extrude, right click to set, and then S for scaling. Let me see that um, pretty much. Let me scale it a little bit down here. Okay, like that, just like that. Okay, and I'm going to extrude again pretty much like that, and then I'm going to scale it, grab, and kind of fix it. Okay. Pretty much gonna fix it like that. Okay. All this um, vertices here that are coming out, I can select the. Well, I can do them one by one, I guess. There's no harm done because this area here is not gonna be visible anyway, so it doesn't matter. See. I'm just simply hiding this so it doesn't look weird. Still noticeable. If there's any area, see there's another area here coming out. Okay. Now I'm going to select this edge here loop and another extra and scale in a little bit just to kind of give thickness okay that's it okay let me see how it looks okay Now I want to add here like um, three loops, I think, and I will press Control R there and then scroll the mouse one, and two times, and I will add three loops. Okay, there, and 
this middle one here I will scale it in I mean scale out and this one I was scaling just a little bit so you know it looks like she have the sleeve rolled rolled in you know okay except for this one here and now it's visible and I need to fix it okay then I will select the entire um, jacket and then go to face and shade smooth okay and now that that's done I'm gonna go here and you know behind here in her arm I'm going to select one edge loop here and I'm going to select the um, edge loop here okay and I'm going to press control E and I'm going to mark sim this option here so now I will have to select this and and UV wrap it on the UV editor and then fix that so it will look like this okay I don't know if you got the point of what I was saying I'm sorry about that I don't always have the best word to explain things but I uh, just having fun with it so okay I'm going to select all this add a new faces here okay and that seam that I added here what it's gonna do is that when I UV wrap this is gonna set the 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 UV flat in the texture okay that's all it is that's all this seam is doing okay this is like the beginning and the end okay so I'm gonna go here this option editor type and look for UV editor okay let me select here this one because that's the diffuse um, texture let me see something here see this this um this area is not even UV wrap here that's why it looks like that but now if I press um, the letter U to unwrap see now it's there see now all this area is here and then this this um two edges here see this edge here and this edge here will be this sim here okay so now control L to select that and I'm going to rotate that okay because I want to set the this layout this UV layout I want to set it here okay someplace here I'll, 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 I'll show you in a minute but because this is like um, curved here see that's the same way it will UV wrapped it here so for me to be able to to align the texture image to this area here see I have to straight straighten up all these um, edges here okay and I will show you now what I'm I'm I'm, I'm trying to 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 say here okay first of all <clears throat> these edges here you see that runs um along the x axis here okay the ones that go along the x axis okay do the same thing shift alt and select one and then 
you're going to press S and Y, the opposite. That means if the edge round X and the X axis, you're going to press S, Y, and 0 to align it. See, to make it straight. Okay? And enter. Okay? Again, the same thing here. Select S, Y, 0, enter. Okay? S, S, Y, 0, and enter. And you see how those edges now they look straight. Okay. Okay. Now that that's done, I need to do these edges here that are um, running along the Y axis, okay? And it's the same thing. This one's running along the Y axis, so you're going to select it. S, X, 0. See, now it's the opposite, okay? Again. S, X, 0. And enter, okay? But because now we have too many, many of them, I just simply gonna skip this this um, part here just so you don't get bored. Okay, now that that's done, you can see everything is being aligned and straightened up. Okay, so now we're going to select the Control L, and I want to place this. Um, layout here. I'm going to first, I'm going to scale it. And then, let me see. Right around there, but I need to scale it more. Okay. Because it needs to be a line here. Okay, that's where we are going to align it. I think scale it. Uh, move it on the side here. Okay, and now see, that's pretty much how it will look there. Okay. What we need to do is, um, I want to align these lines here, okay, with these ones, okay. So, I think it's in between this um, vertice here and this one, okay. So, I'm going to select that. And this one, and I'm going to select the proportional editing tool here, and then I'm going to press G and X. See, and if you notice on your left, see how those lines they kind of see align with this. Then I'm going to turn it off, or you can press the the letter O. And I think it's this one and this one. Huh? No, that's for that side. So I need to do this side here. Nope. I need to select the entire loop in this case. And that will distort the one on the bottom, on this one here. So, again, I'm going to use the proportional editing, editing tool. See, this time. Oh, 
right around there. I think. I think that looks good there. And let me see. Just adjust this a little bit. Just adjust this a little bit. See? And then this line here, see? How they start here and then over here. I want to fix that, okay? And that. I will do the same thing. Let me see which line is. No? I think it's this line then. Huh? This one. Let me put this closer. See. And let me lower that down. Because they are way too close to this edge here, okay? I think from yeah, I think from that point on here actually the circle select see here and let me see if I can move that Okay, that looks good, I guess. See, and at least now it looks like she got the jacket um, sleeve rolled up. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do is well, not really the last thing, it's just for this part here is add a subdivision surface to this jacket to kind of smooth that out see press save because you know just in case and now we are going to do a render preview and you see doesn't look that bad at all see it does not so the next thing I would need to do now is do the other side but you know you see how how long it took me to do just this so there's no way I will be recording the the other side here so this will be it for now and then I will skip all this Okay, now that I have completed the other side here, um, we're going to do a render preview. Okay, that looks good so far. Okay. So, to, that's pretty much, um, she's pretty much completed already. So, now I'm going to um you know try to see if i can put another pose for her first thing i want to do is select her armature here select this option right here update data um you pour display okay and i want to select this option the stick to change it you know the how the bones are gonna look see they look not like sticks and check this option in front so I can see all of them here now okay <clears throat> now make sure that the um, let me see The cursor is in the center here, see? Um, you can press Shift S and cursor to or or origin here, see? And that is there. 
Okay. And I'm going to add a play, plane, sorry, plane here. So shift and A and a plane. Okay. And I'm going to scale it. This is just simply to create shadows here. That's all. Because I, I'm also, oh, oh man, hit number three. I want to change this point light to a sunlight here. And you see it's kind of tilted here. So we would press um, Alt R there. And let's just lower the brightness to 10. Okay. And let us do a render preview. Let me see. Okay. Okay. I'm going to turn this viewport here back to the 3D viewport. Okay. And you can tilt the light to as far as see how that change. And I think it's too bright, okay? So let me see, let me lower it to seven point zero. Yeah, it's still too bright, okay. Just gonna lower to five. Okay, now that looks good. Okay. See, create some shadows here. <coughs> okay. And of course, um, let me adjust that um, plane there. Let me see if it's adjusted. Oh, okay, yeah, I think it is. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna, for her pose, I'm gonna use the one from Character Creator 3, which I have already imported into Blender, but I will have to look for that file. And I will have to append that file here, okay, to this pose library, okay. So we'll go here, append, and let me see. Since I already made this, um, like I did like a practice video before, I know where that post here is. And it's this one here that I call CC3 poses. Okay, and I will append that. And now when I go to the post library, I'll choose that option there. And voila, here are all the poses from Character Creator 3, okay? For example, I will select her armature here and then select one of these, say standing 01, and I will select this option, see? And that applies the, the pose there, see? Okay. See? Or we can select, let's say, number three here. Okay. Now, remember, in order for, for the um, post here to work, because you see here that it's selected, but you have to make sure that you go to post mode and everything is selected okay because let's just say that if I only have say this bone selected only when you select any pose the only bone that's gonna move is this one if that's the only thing you have selected okay so you know, make sure that a select everything and then you know either you can select it from there or just go back to object mode you know and then 
you know, say number six here. See? <clears throat> but that's not the actual post I'm going to end up this video. Okay. What I'm going to do is, let me see. Do that. Hold on. Well, hold on. Press number one. Press up and then press that. And then press number six twice. Okay. That's to tilt the, the view, to move the view. And I am going to select Control Alt Zero to put the camera there. See this this camera here to put it there on that position. And you know, just gonna go and select this the transform tool and then select the camera. And then you know, just gonna go back here. Like so, and I think that might work just a little bit. So now I will select by her armature here, and there is a pose that I did, and I tried to be as much precise, but to me it looks awful. But because I mean, I'm not good at doing posing. You know, when it comes to 3D model, model, I always use presets like this ones. So, I just, I try to copy something like this, okay? So, I already got it here. Let's fill the pose here. Let's see? And actually, you know, Kind of looks a little bit there, but uh, now let me just simply adjust this um, plane now since she already moved. G and Z to lower down there. Okay. And then now you press zero. Well, with the cursor here, press zero to go again in the, uh, in the camera view. Okay. Oh, and there's something else we're going to do, okay? Because I want to change her face expression. And I will do that by selecting her body here. And... You will go to this option here, Object Data Properties, and then in the Shape Keys here, see? You're going to see the Shape Keys that are within this body. And let me just simply hide this for a moment, okay? I'm going to look for this option here, um, Brow Drop, okay? Once you select that, you're going to see all the settings here. And this value here, see, let, check out the left brow. I think it's, it's this one here. Check out when you start. See how it lowers, see, and raises it like that, see. Now I'm going to lower there. So she now kind of looks a little bit mad, you know. And then the right one, see? Then this option here, um, the eye squint, okay? I select it and watch what happens here, okay? See? And... Yeah, right there and I want to raise a little bit uh, the cheeks here okay so here cheek cheek raise okay I always think that's too much okay Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Ok. <clears throat> it doesn't always have to be the same value because then everything will look symmetrical and, you know, sometimes it's good, you know, <clears throat> to not do everything the same, ok? And for her um, lips here, ok? I'm gonna use this setting here, mouth frown, ok? And see, kind of like she's, she looks like now she's sad, but she's not really sad because then we will go here on their mouth, lips open. Okay. So see, we can see some teeth in there also like, ah, see. Okay. And that's all I'm going to do as far as her expression goes, okay? And another thing you notice is um, when I change the pose to see how there's some errors here again. <clears throat> that is, um, you can fix it real quick. But in this case, okay, I'm going to go to this option here. And let me see. Well, let me let me do it for the jacket instead. Okay. See that there's some arrows here in this jacket. Okay. And you notice even the the slip here deforms. See, because for that I would I would have to adjust the waist paint here. But I'm not gonna do that. Okay. I'm just simply gonna fix it here for the sake of this tutorial. <laughs> so <clears throat> you're gonna press here the plus and another plus for the key, and you're gonna turn this value up, okay? And now you're gonna go into tap mode and let me see. Well, usually I got this side here too, you know. Okay, so actually I can look that up here, use this side here. Um, proportional editing tool on. And I'm going to start fixing those um, errors there, see? Uh, only the visible ones, I'm not going to do the entire thing, okay? And I'm just going to go here real quick. Let's just save. And select this rolled up sleeve here. And <clears throat> let me see if I wanted to. No, I cannot rotate it. Oh, because I got the editing tool. See how everything, um, when I try to rotate it, see, everything also because I didn't realize the editing tool, the proportional editing tool was on, okay? So, let's just turn it off. And now, let me see if I can rotate a little bit. Fix it, because I mean... It looks kind of weird. It looks kind of weird. I don't. I don't care about um, whatever. However, it looks here because that's not gonna. It's not gonna be visible. Only this part here, and then. So yeah, we need to fix this bottom here. Now with the proportional editing tool. Which is on. Now I need to fix that there, okay? <clears throat> now, why did I add a shape keys? You may be wondering. Well, in case that I decide to use another pose, this is going to look weird because, you know, I added this. So, everything that I added on this pose. 
then I can simply turn it back now by lowering the value. See, it'll go back again to its original um, pose. I mean, to its original state here before I edit it. See, if I come back again to this pose, then I simply turn it back on again. See, and that's that. Okay, and in this case here, I already got a shape shape key there so we just use the sculpt and the uh, inflate here and fix that okay so she doesn't look you know weird okay <clears throat> and always save and then press zero camera view okay mm. Render preview. Okay. It still got some see minor errors here and the gloss, but that's something I will be fixing later on. Cause I, what I'm gonna do is I I'll make a render and I will put a link to my Deviant Art page, and then you can see it there all fixed up and everything. Okay. So one last thing is once you already and if you're gonna make a render if you're not happy with you know like the way the shadow the light looks then you know select here the sunlight and you can kind of rotate to look for different kind of you know shadows in here see let me see You can also rotate this see? and down here. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Not complaining. <laughs> so, um, I am guessing this is it. Blaze Fielding. She looks super awesome. Hmm. So um, I hope you have enjoyed this um, video. And if you did, please um, hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next next video.